Hello. Um, this is up for, uh, for the side philosopher signing in once again for another edition of Z Blog. And today I want to share something that ha that happened, something in my heart that from the events that happened this weekend. Um, um this week, um, I, my eyes. I begin to feel a burden, um, great burden upon my heart, and I'm going to start by uh, with a with a story of my coworker. She's um, she's a assistant manager at my work, and you no, know, she works her. No, the the shift of a system manager, and she she's a single mother, you know, and she and um this uh week was um was the beginning of the month, I know, and uh, it, it was no beginning of the month you have. Or the end of the month, you have to pay a rent. So, um, so on on the Friday sh that the church came in, um, she told me because she she know um, she knows I'm a Christian, and she when when she needs a uh, counsel, she comes. I. I give it to her. Um, she told me that all this week, all her paycheck is going to her rent, and she won't have enough to cover the rent. It's thousand dollars, and that paycheck is five hundred. So, um, from my savings, no, I. So I could only get and let her borrow a hundred, but I did. I did. I I let her borrow a hundred, but I felt the anxiety she was feeling. She, as she asked me, you no. Know, and then I talked to another person, uh, and she he's he works at the hospital. He's a He's, he's a Jehovah's Witness. I've talked to him before about, you know, about the doctrine, and he was he was talking about that he he's working at the hospital, you no, know, and so th that he works twelve hour shifts you now, and I asked him about the employment that was. Yeah, the letting people go left and right on no. people that don't that do not handle that work schedule twelve hour shifts no the letting go and um because no they they become the picky and I'm just and then and and then um, today, um, I was, we went out to eat and uh, we got the recent pickup sticks. And I, I, I see a guy did with it. No. He's, he's, he looks young, he's 21. Yeah, I, and he looks like he, I don't know. But he looks like he was down. So I went up to him and uh, asked him what it, what's going on. So uh, he just got out of jail. And um, I told him, no, need to um, see God, no. And he, said, he, he told me, I am, um, no, I, I, as the Lord as my Savior, or, um, 
Yeah, I, I believe in Jesus Christ. But we walk. It's a, it, I told him, it's a walk of repentance, you know. It's not just ask him one time. And, you no, know, I, I gave him words of encouragement and I gave him my number so he can call. And, no, all, and I prayed for him. And this, all this, all this three, this conversations that I had, just put it in my heart that right now, as the, as the effects of the recession are flowing, people are in much need. People are getting hopeless. People are feeling down, too stressed, and uh, just thinking. And this is the time where, where we who have the answer, where we who have the hope, uh, would we who have the way, should should stand out, should go out there, because people are hungry for relief for hope they don't know where to find it more than ever there's no I remember um, the words of of Mordecai to Esther for such a time as this maybe for some in this time of great need it is we that it's the time where we have to go out and minister to be the ambassador of God. No, um, ambassador of God means represent God to people, you no, know, minister to their needs. And I hope you put in your heart to open your eyes to see, look around you, see where, who can you minister. Well, that's all I have this for today. Hope this moved you. God bless you.